lots of tangles. Hello everyone, Smiley's here again, bringing you another episode of Let's Play The Walking Dead. When we last left off, we had made it through the night, and on to Herschel's farm. So, what, why don't we just uh, check in with everyone, see how they're all doing, learn about them, and so on and so forth. Let's see the option. There it is. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. Yeah, I think relaxed. we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. For, you know, oh, uh, how was that? Apocalypse thing. It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Yeah, pretty uh, peaceful for the time being. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Yeah, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Really? I... that... I've never heard that, but I guess that makes sense. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just... just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. <laughs> yeah, you know. Those are the things we live for, right? Because, you know, gone, what's the point? Beer or Back zombie apocalypse? Bit. Okay, Lee. Which one would you choose? I don't know, maybe you choose a zombie apocalypse. But I'm not you. Let's talk Clementine here. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Alright. Let's go over here and chat with Kenny a little bit. Seems to be checking out his truck. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What, what do you mean? Help? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. Yeah, seems like it. But... How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. Oh, I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. Yeah. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. Yeah, he's got a I'm boat. a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, well, that would be whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See ya. Hell, I mean, she may not be wild about it, but if it's our la only option... Sure as hell be wild about it. Let's see what we got to do here. I believe the only thing left to do is Let's go check on that fence. Let's uh examine the tractor. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the US farm bill though. <laughs> I'm good. Oh yeah, Lee taught history, so that makes sense. How you doing, Duck? Good! drive the tractor. Oh, great. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. That does that can't be good. Let's 
talk to Sean, see how he's doing, see if he needs any assistance. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. We'd have intense quick time events for cutting the logs. Logs. My dad blanks, doesn't know how logs, bad it is. No. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn, man. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't Jeez. see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Yeah, more oh. than one. Oh, okay. Uh... Bastard. Poor girl's brains in. Yeah, with a hammer. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? Yeah, How's your seem family? A little overconfident this farm here. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. No oh, man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. Yeah, man, saved her ass. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. All right, then let's go talk to Herschel. It'll be funny if they made you do like a quick time event for cutting the wood. It's like, mask you, or you'll like cut your hand off. All right, see what Herschel has to say. Giving us that look. I don't know if I like that look. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Yeah. Hmm. Tell the truth. Well, man. you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Yeah. Was brought up what to? I'd do yes. without my family. Where's your family now? Well, I guess without my family, parents, I wouldn't be born now. Wife, would I? girlfriend. Yep. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, hopefully well, they are. I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah, walked in the house to get some bourbon. I mean, help. And. Yeah. I was looking for there. help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Um, I guess. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. Yep, that's uh, some pretty good but advice. At least you have the common say. sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Oh, oh, shit. Go! I'll get my gun! Oh, my God. What's going on? We have to go help Sean. Try pushing the tractor, maybe that'll help. 
Stitch you up. I don't think so, Herschel. It, it almost it almost got me, man. It, almost. I, Lee tried to save me. Yeah, we did the best we could, but I know bastard so. Kenny. Come I, on now, Kenny. Uh, yeah, fortunately, whoever you choose to save there doesn't matter. Because Sean still dies either way. I wasn't strong enough. I'm sorry. If your girl is ever trapped, you better hope you get stronger. Or your friends aren't cowards. Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Well, that all went to shit. Sean's dead. Herschel's pissed now. Better hope there's some safety in making, or else we're gonna die. Or, well, not last very long. Wait, that. What am I saying? That just means we're dead. Yeah. Anyway, enough about me stumbling over my speech like a idiot. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then Damn. it's far enough. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Uh, I don't know if he's friendly there. No, he's Fuck! definitely eating him. Someone there to save us. We really can't take risks doomed. like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. Hey, you would let us we die? Don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Because I'm black. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Then we let them. Hey. We have kids with us. Yeah, we've got I kids. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I hardly think that's important right now. Come on, second. in a minute. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those yeah, he knows what he's talking about. Care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. Yeah. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Clem just ran out there. Yes. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, that yes is we true. did. They did take and a we risk. appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Anyway, it's all just Holy calm, let's all be shit. civil here. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't, he wasn't bitten. bitten. 
hell he wasn't. He wasn't. We have to end this now. Hey, Over no. my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, oh I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. See? He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash no. his head in. Hey, that's just, that's just What do rude. we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. Put your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Yeah. Out on his ass with those things. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. Come on. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. Yeah, I hope you're the first one to right die. Now, you want to kill a freaking kid? We're about to be kid? trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. He's not Please bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Yeah, Look Larry. around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. Exactly. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. Oh, that's, I'm that's kill just him, uncalled Kat. for. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. I don't know, Lee. That might be a hey, problem. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. Oh, you're not no, the bad guy just here. The guy arguing for you, yeah, you want to just He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is doesn't. sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. It's, a yeah. little boy. He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. Doesn't he have to die for his And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. Yeah. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Yeah, damn straight. Oh shit, Clementine, no. Jesus! She's going down. Come on, Lee. Come on now. I gotta go risk the Clementine. Chick's got some aim. You okay? Just great, thanks. Jeez. Uh, guys? Everybody down. Stay quiet. They're gonna get in. Shut up. I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Shut up. Ah, ah. I don't know how sorry I'm feeling for him, though. For real. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes. We're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Uh, fine, we'll do it somehow. You'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. He's an asshole, but... Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. Still here. be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. 
I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Yeah, that'd be great. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's got to get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know make it. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. That's smart, Hopefully, Lee. Hopefully, you smart. won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that yeah, way. You got it, shot. boss. Now get him those pills.